We just engraved 50 wooden spoons using our X-Tool P2. Our Smart Fill batch processing requires no jig. And we're doing a giveaway. We have a laser material pack with over 100 items in it. We're going to give it away right now. What is up? A welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? So do we. And we have new videos each week, every Tuesday and Friday. This week, we have a rush order for some wedding favors, these wooden spoons. And you know, I thought this was a perfect project for the Smart Fill batch processing for the P2 with no jig needed. That's right. This is something we haven't seen on other lasers. If you do engravings, the same engraving on the same item multiple times, this batch processing feature will save you some time. This is something you should know about. And we have a giveaway. This is a laser explorer pack and we'll be talking about this one later too. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We needed some wooden spoons because that's what we're engraving on and she gave us just enough to do the project. We have no waste. And she gave us the image. So this should be a fairly easy project. Yeah, we really wanna just showcase this batch processing feature. Step two, we're gonna turn on our X-Tool P2 and load our materials. We're gonna try to get as many spoons in per batch as we can. Now you need to have some kind of organized layout. It can't be too sporadic. You have to lay out all of your items kind of organized and leave a little bit of gap between them so that the camera can see the base plate. You need at least a two centimeter gap. The object color cannot be too dark. It cannot match the base plate or the camera won't recognize the separation between the object and the base plate. These spoons are perfect because they're almost white in color, so they're really contrasting to the back of the laser bed. And it won't recognize different shapes. If we're doing spoons, we gotta do all spoons. We can't do any forks. This is not your silverware drawer at home. And you wanna make sure you have a clean camera lens so that the camera can recognize each individual object and know where to place your design. If you have schmutz on your camera, you're not gonna get good alignment. We have no room for error in this project. We don't have a whole lot of extras. So the great thing about this X-Tool P2 is it has a secondary camera. Not only does it have the camera on the lid, like some of the other desktop lasers, but the X-Tool P2 has a camera on the lens. So we're gonna use the secondary camera to hover over each spoon to make sure that we have perfect placement. Yeah, a little. some of these spoons are a little wonky. Not each <laughs> spoon is exactly like the next. So we're going to need some perfect placement for this thing anyway. And you might be thinking to yourself, if you've watched any of our previous videos, why aren't we using the curved surface engraving for these spoons? Because typically you would do that. These spoons, go ahead. These spoons are only spoon in name. <laughs> They are almost paddle-like. They yeah. are very, very shallow, and we do not need that curved surface engraving that would help us transition from a high side to the low bottom back to a high side. There's very, very little change in depth here, so we can engrave right on these without having to use the curved surface engraving. Yeah, these are definitely great for spanking sticks. <laughs> This makes it perfect for batching. If we were having to use curved surface engraving, we wouldn't be able to batch all of these at one time. So we'll be able to put all of them in the laser bed and engrave all at one shot. With no jig. That is the other great feature of the X-Tool P2 Smart Fill feature is that there's no jig needed. So a lot of people are doing these pencils uh, for back to school. We've seen them everywhere. We haven't had the opportunity to do them, but I think we could try them with this X-Tool P2. You can lay out your pencils and it will replicate your design across each pencil. No jig needed. No jig needed. That's my favorite part. Step three, create your design or just load it into Creative Space. Here we are in Xtool Creator Space. The first thing we're gonna do is just refresh our camera so we can see all of our little spoons. There they are. Here you can create your design, but in our case, the customer has already supplied the design. So we're just gonna load the design. We're just gonna start with which one? There's perfect two of them. Perfect mix. We're gonna start with perfect mix. Let's shrink this guy down. Rotate them. I like how it clicks on the 90s. What do you think, Kim? 
one. I'll pick this spoon. Let's pick this one. Or this one. Yeah, I like that one. All right. Let's That's where the camera is, like, right above it. So I'm going to hold control, and I'm going to scroll in, kind of place it. You see each one of these spoons is just a little bit wonky. All right. Got our image loaded. We're all set. Step four, smart fill. Now we're just going to click smart fill. We're going to select our design again. It's on our image and we're just going to click smart fill. Okay, kind of. It picked up some of them. I think some of them are too close. I don't think it's got enough uh, space between these guys down here and the camera. Right. This is where the spacing comes in. So we'll go remove a few, leave a little more space and then have it populate again. All right. Control Z, let's space them out. All right, let's hit refresh on the bed image and see what we have. Okay, we put a lot less in there because I think the handle is giving us trouble. I'm going to line up this image and we're going to hit smart fit. Oh, <laughs> well, maybe I should hit smart fill. Hey, that was pretty good. All right, because we have no room for error, I'm now going to zoom in on each one of these using the uh, close capture. And because they're all a little bit wonky too, I think I need to zoom in and place each one. Perfect, perfect placement. Just trying to snap to the grid. Oh, that looks good. Maybe I should have done it in order. Yeah, that one looks pretty good. Yeah, that one looks Yeah, right good. under the center camera, the overhead cam, they're perfect. Hey, the further it gets away from the overhead cam. You can even cock this guy to the side a little bit. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. I mean, when I zoom in on these, they all look pretty good. They yeah. did a pretty good job. Yeah, I think it really understands the distortion of the camera and where they are on the bed. Yeah, because when I zoom in, they're actually placed pretty good. Well, I've said that now. I think the further it gets away from center, Now, each time Garrett does this, the camera on the laser head moves to that position so that and takes a quick photo so that we can see exactly where this needs to be placed. Yeah, I really like how it cocked it to the side because it thinks the spoon is a little crooked. The spoon is a little crooked. Good job. Step five, time to engrave them. We're just going to jump right back into creative space and basically hit start. Now let's set the engraving settings. So we're going to click on the layer. That way it selects all of our things on this layer at one time. We're going to use engraving. We're going to take some manual settings here. We're going to go 30% power, 15% power, and 300 millimeters per second. We're going to keep it at bitmap mode Jarvis, but we're going to go 280 lines per centimeter. Now I'm going to click anywhere else to deselect these and I'm going to get a measurement. I'm going to do auto measure and then I'm going to pick like a high point of one of these spoons. Right in the center. Mm -hmm. Right here. There's a good meaty high point. Measure. All right, 3.89. Assuming that's correct. Process. And start. All 
We have perfect placement on the first 10. They look great. We're just gonna batch out the other 30 now. Time for the giveaway. But before we do that, I wanna say a big thank you to all of our patrons. You can join us over on Patreon for extra content, free files, and a bunch of goodies. All right, we're ready for the giveaway. It's super easy to enter. Just like, subscribe, and leave us a comment down below. This materials prize pack has 111 pieces in it, and it contains tons of different materials like walnut, acrylic, cork, leather, some jewelry, some stainless steel tags, lots of fun stuff in here to cut and engrave using your laser. It is a treasure trove of laser exploration. <laughs> we are about out of time, so if you're not going to join us over on the Patreon after show, we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again.